I swear, I used to walk around like this every single day. So uncomfortable. Hello and welcome to whatever this is gonna be. Here's the part where I'd insert a fancy intro if I'd had one. Taking it back to the good old days when I used to smother my face with mascara, which didn't make any sense because I used to be a swimmer. It was so weird. Back to high school. No, just kidding. This video is going to represent my high school foods that I ate or made all the freaking time. This video is also going to represent my first steps of slowly transitioning into a healthier lifestyle. Stop. It is not. Boring. Okay, we have some. We have mostly like super cool and fancy snacks and breakfast food type of creations. Some cookies. Another thing that I really love related to peanut butter. Before I forget to mention, this was the first time that I really like deeply developed feelings towards the peanut butter. Thank you. Okay, let's get to it. So I'm just saying the recipes have to be good because otherwise I wouldn't have made them a gazillion times. The first healthy recipe that I have ever made. It's just so good. You gotta try this one. Chocolate chip zucchini cookies. Stop, I know zucchini courgette is a vegetable. I don't like these glasses right now. I will I'm most likely insert some photos right over here. Um, of the cookies. And before I ramble on too much, let's just get baking. Like they're actually really good, you know. Step number one, find the recipe. I know this woman's website was called Amy's Healthy Baking. Hope she still exists and she's doing well. Yes. We have some oats in a jar. Regular flour. Our zucchini, courgette, of course, some honey, also chocolate chips, and I topped it with some nuts, and nuts are like healthy and stuff, so. And one little organic egg. Actually, it's supposed to be a large egg, but I don't have this, so. Why did my head smell like cinnamon? Coconut oil. Just really cold in here, so I'm gonna preheat the oven immediately. Okay. One cup of instant oats, 90 grams. So then I added some whole wheat flour, baking powder and a pinch of salt to it. Then combined all the dry ingredients. Don't forget the cinnamon. The cinnamon is leaking out, but how? See this is all... Two tablespoons of coconut oil. We will also need coconut oil, which you can substitute with vegan butter, for example. Two tablespoons of that. I had those moments when something went wrong in the microwave, burned or exploded. After microwaving the stubborn hard coconut oil in a plastic bowl until finally melted, I added organic honey to the wet ingredients. Part of it I substituted with maple syrup for the sake of veganism and health. I haven't baked with eggs in like 500 years, I think. Vanilla, more vanilla. I quickly combined the egg coconut oil mixture with the honey as long as it was still warm. Don't forget to add vanilla. I then grated 90 grams of courgette. All the measurements are going to be down below too for you. Finally, you'll just have to mix all the ingredients together. The courgette mix with the oats and honey mixture. Oh, so fast, I can catch my heart. 
The star of the show are definitely these chocolate chips in the cookies. So I added a handful of those. It goes very well together. So you want to make sure not to add too much flour to the um, cookie dough mixture. You can easily accidentally over flour it. So that basically means this is my ready to go mixture. And I still have like a tiny little bit of flour oat mixture left. It's really tasty already, I can tell. Stop, don't forget the nuts, the walnuts. Yeah, I also added some roasted crushed hazelnuts and then placed the cookies onto a used, burnt, because I didn't have any clean ones, parchment paper. Primarily for the environment, of course. Mmm, they already taste really good. <laughs> bake them for 12 minutes, not too long. Don't overbake them. It happened so many times to me because they are naturally very soft when they come out of the oven. Now we just have to wait 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so these are done. Onto the cow towel it goes. Wow! I really stepped up my baking game over these past years, I think. Notes. Cool on the pan for 10 minutes before transferring to a wire rack. I'm not gonna do that because I'm very hungry and I want to eat these cookies now for breakfast, late breakfast. 3 p.m. breakfast. Mama told me not to go aside. Have from all the pretty ladies that. The really cool thing about these cookies is so, this is basically a foolproof recipe. You can't. Fuck this up. Except if you overbake it. Oh my god. Mm, crunchy. That's a good cookie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Miraculous cookies. I love these so much. And I will see you for the next recipe. I know you came to see. Hi. Please bear with me and this lighting it is still Germany o'clock. If I were to open this window, I'd be buried under a snow avalanche immediately. The cookies are now almost gone. So it is time for another thing that I made it back in high school. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just saying peanut butter. Wait for it. It basically tastes like dessert. It, it's like... It's really good, we get it. All you will need for the recipe is one peanut butter jar. I have two. But let's just um, focus on the facts here. This is gonna take you one minute to make, so let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is take some water. There's not a lot of water in here, is there? Oats. I ate oats all the time, all the freaking time. Yeah, I did. Then we also have some cinnamon. Baby, you could keep me going. Of course. Oat milk. I always use oat milk. It's the cheapest milk, I think, and the best milk, also. Some maple syrup. And now we're basically just gonna combine all of this into a peanut butter jelly thick, thick, very thick oatmeal. I always added so much peanut butter and jam and berries to it that it almost tasted like a very thick, like... I never finished that sentence. If you have... Oh, that's really important. You need an almost empty peanut butter jar for this. So now in your almost empty peanut butter jar, you're going to combine lots of oats, plant milk, water, cinnamon and maple syrup or agave. My distract itself accidentally made the recipe with small cut oats, but in high school I would have always used the big rolled organic oats. Trust me, it just really tastes a million times better. Always sprinkle those on top. Like, you just really have to make sure it's very thick. So use more oats and more peanut butter than you would usually. And that is now gonna go onto the fridge overnight. And tomorrow I'll see you for the choppings. Look at how pretty it is. Wow. Wow. So, I'm talking toppings now. Every morning before school. Wait. So now that it is morning and my oats are soaked, 
Um, I'm gonna top this with a bunch of peanut butter, jelly and berries and crushed peanuts and this is gonna be legendary. Legendary. Oh my god. Okay, let's top this. So as for my toppings, I would of course always go for berries, more berries, strawberries, raspberries. Then a little bit of jam. I always used like some sort of healthy jam. This is apparently lower in sugar or whatever. Today I would just use banana or whatever. First step, top it with berries. One layer of berries. Then, um, no stop, I'm doing it wrong. No. Then if you feel extra fancy and you want to step up your peanut butter revolution game you'll have to add another layer of peanut butter like i'm telling you it's just gonna hit your taste buds in places that you didn't know existed before that's really beautiful peanut butter you really want to go all in that is the most important thing use all you got <laughs> Now some more jam, peanuts, more jelly. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Look at those peanuts in the back. And then I would put this jar into my bag. Obviously I'm not, I'm not going to do this now because it would be kind of stupid because <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. But the berries would be like all melty and defrosted within the jam and the peanut butter and then it's like a wave of all those flavors. <laughs> so good. You should really let it defrost for like one hour, I think. Okay, so what we have here is absolutely insane. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the real deal. The amount of peanut butter and berries that I might have ingested in my lifetime from that might scare some people. <laughs> but this is a very filling and satiating breakfast. It keeps you full for like hours. I don't know, it's like a healthy dessert breakfast. Yo, what else do you want? And I'll see you in a jiffy for the next one. I know you came to see. It's the weekend and I always wore sweatpants on the weekend. That meant almost always the same thing for me. Mango, nice cream. Zero protein post-workout breakfast. Are you actually kidding me? Use frozen mangoes for it. Obviously not supposed to be a smoothie bowl. I'm also having one frozen banana here and my original not high speeding blender, which still miraculously gets the job done. For my spices, to spice it up, I use cinnamon and ginger. I combine roughly one big cup of mango, the frozen banana, ginger, plant milk and a dash of cinnamon in my food processor. Don't be misled by the texture. It's first going to be crumbly ice mix. Scrape down the sides a couple times, blend again and you'll have nice cream. Ice cream. Very thick ice cream. I forgot to add lemon juice, but lime juice would also be really nice here. It's a lifestyle. Okay. By now we know that I'm enthusiastic about the toppings. I don't have a photo, but I remember this deep down to my core. High school me added cashew nuts why. on top of I the really ice cream. Don't know why. 2016 was also the year when goji berries were absolutely trending. So this turned out very beautiful. She is bomb. Maybe too much. Can't stop it. So rock and rock and ships, yeah, fossils and bones. More focus on them hips and my lungs Thinking two stories got a place on my own Silly kid, you can run when you grown It's like that huh? Cold, oh my god Well, maybe it's cold because it's frozen <clears throat> That is proof that you can indeed burn your mouth with cold food Pretty good mm. I should make this more often I feel like a mother trying her child's food creation here for mm. the first time Surprisingly Pleasant and very delicious. 
It's really good. I wish she had used more toppings though. You did a great job there, back in the day. Yes. <laughs> if you're in high school now, make this. If you're not in high school anymore, make this. Those are really good recipes. Would highly recommend. And yeah, that is it. Bye!